Hey, what's up guys, Austin here, and this is the Hexa. This is probably the most unique thing I've ever covered on this channel. This is a six-legged, programmable, highly maneuverable robot. This is made by a company called Vincross, and they actually sent this out to me to mess around with and to show off to you guys. Now, they're a startup, and they're trying to really get the ball rolling on this robot, programmable robot game, uh, by making something that has a community built around it, by allowing pretty much anyone to just pick this up and use with their SDK and their own app store that developers and other random people can go ahead and upload their apps on. Now, this is mainly built for enthusiasts, but like I said before, it's actually pretty easy to develop applications for it, so anyone can really get started on this bot. And if you've ever worked with something like uh, Lego Robots, the Mindstorm, it's kind of like that, but on steroids. But first things first, let's run down the specs. So like I said, it's got six legs, which makes it look like a spider, but it also makes it easier for getting around since it can actually crawl out of tight situations, recover when it's going over uneven terrain, or even climb on top of objects. Each leg has multiple degrees of freedom and can rotate pretty well around the body of the robot. On the bottom, there's a power button just for turning the hexa on and off, but there's actually something really cool here too. The entire underside actually supports wireless charging, so you can just set this down on the charger and it'll start charging. On the front, it's got some sensors that let you do some pretty cool things with it. It actually has optical and spatial sensors that give the robot awareness of objects around it. So for example, the distance measuring sensor and infrared transmitter allow the hexa to detect objects and avoid them. So right here, I'm not actually navigating the robot with the controller or anything. It automatically detects the wall in front of it and it's smart enough to turn around instead of running right into it. There's also a 720p camera that you can use to record and take pictures with, and you can even use a night vision mode to see in the dark with it. Like I said, this is largely for people who are interested in developing, but you can actually do some interesting things with the camera, like integrating OpenCV, which is an open source computer vision library, to do some really cool stuff like facial recognition and motion tracking. Again, pretty much anything you can imagine you can program this robot to do. If we take off the head shell, you can see even more I.O. Of course, we have all of those sensors from before, but now we have access to the hardware interface face and here we can see there is a 3.5 millimeter line in and line out, a USB 2.0 port that you can also use for charging, and some general purpose I.O. pins to connect to other controllers or boards. So we'll get into how easy it is to actually develop for the Hexa, but first we've got to talk about the app. This is what allows you to actually control and connect to the Hexa and you can go ahead and load programs on it. Like I said before, they're trying to make an ecosystem of apps, so they actually have an app store built right into the app where you and other developers can actually upload and and submit your apps for the other people to use on their Hexa devices as well. Um, right now, it's not really fully loaded as this thing is really just launching, but there's really a lot of potential for there to be some really cool stuff on the App Store, but there's some pretty cool stuff. So first, of course, there's this really nice app that allows you to actually control the Hexa and you can use your phone to actually navigate it. And you can either connect directly to the Hexa or you can connect through it if you're on the same Wi-Fi network. But for this app, it pretty much, you can just control it to do whatever you want. You can control the speed, the height, the camera on it. You can enable night vision mode. Lots of things you can do. If you take a picture or a video, it automatically saves to your phone. And you can actually use this to reach places that a human normally wouldn't be able to reach not just to creep on people. There's also another app that uses the accelerometer and gyroscope on your phone to control the direction of the robot. But probably my favorite app though is called Dance. I'm not gonna lie, it's purely a party trick, but it's a pretty good one. You can actually use this board right here to select different modes and you can actually have it dance and do different things, but I'll just go ahead and show you. So that's the app, but if you actually want to make your own application, upload it to the Hexa App Store, it's still pretty easy to do. Now a caveat here is that I am a software engineer, but I've never used the language that they use to code on this, and it still took me maybe less than 20 minutes to get a program working. So what you saw before, where it was unable to walk in front of a wall, 
I wrote that in 20 minutes. There are instructions to download the SDK and once you have that on your computer, you can pretty much start coding right away. They have some tutorials online that make it really easy to get this thing moving and they take care of all the hard parts. For example, if you wanna get this thing moving, all you have to write is hexabody walk continuously and that's all you have to do to get it to move. Seriously. And the best thing about this is all of it works wirelessly. Once you make your skill, you can instantly compile it and send it to the robot over Wi-Fi and it'll automatically start running what you wrote. It's super simple to use. So this is the Hexa. It's very interesting, but if you guys want to check it out, I'll have a couple links in the description. Uh, shout out once again to Hexa for sponsoring this video. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, be sure to throw those down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.